Ladies and gentlemen, this is Lime Side. We're here with Justin Kellner. Justin, you've been friends with the drummer Dan and I for quite some time. Okay, so that one behind you obviously is not being used. So, Schwartz. Justin, uh, Wait, no. Schwartz, come on. Tell me what, what point in time in you and Dana's relationship did you know that he would become such a famous person with the band Blindside? Actually, just recently when he bought the uh, new Iguana Bud for uh, Bigelow, you know, it's a great animal for him, you know, it, it produces his lyrics and helps him out on the drums and shit. Michelob's a shit. He should be here right now. I don't know where Michelob is. He should be to... here, but... He'll make an appearance later, I bet. I'm sure. Um, tell us what makes Michelob a buzz killer. Just is. Take one taste. Michelob buzz killer, buzz killer. Second one. Second. We've got some blindside heads out in the crowd. They're right. blind heads. I ain't no... Social point in Blindside's well, career when Jane and I... All right, this is a blue song that I wrote. Between the band it's called or Bad Jesse. Thing. I wrote it when I was having a pretty shitty day. Just another groupie.
crowd goes crazy for Blindside. And there's Daniel. <laughs> We're here with Rick Hosing, who worked with uh, Teddy, the bass player, and Billy, the guitar player, and I do. Chachi's Rodriguez. Um, tell us, Rick, at what point when you worked with them, did you think that they would be huge rock stars and famous, famous band like they are now? Um, I still had it, really. You know, they're down to earth guys. They're good people. Good people. Uh, Teddy doesn't work much. I think Billy got a new job, so... Uh, Things might be looking up. Things might be looking up. Uh, you know, it's the first time I really concentrated on them playing. And so you're trying to say the band shit. doesn't play the, pay the paychecks? Uh, pay the bills? Well, it must because Teddy doesn't work that often. So, you know, they're good shit. They're good shit. So, Gary, uh, tell us what you think of the band playing night blindside here at Bob's Tavern. They're good. The girlfriend of the star player Billy who plays guitar for Blindside. Gina, uh, tell us when you first fell in love with Billy. Oh, from the moment I saw him. I knew it. It was blood at first sight. So how have you influenced him to play the guitar much better? Um, actually I taught him how to play the guitar. He started from scratch and I taught him everything he knows. He doesn't like to give me credit though, but I taught him everything. So is it true that he really hung like a rock star? <laughs> And he can bring the juice like no other. Blindside is the greatest man ever. <laughs> I didn't hear your last question, I'm sorry. Tell, tell us, Gina, um, are you ever worried that Blindside's fame might bring other um, girls, so-called band-aids or groupies, into Billy's life? Absolutely not. No worries whatsoever. His heart, his love is with me, I know it. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah. what Jim Morrison's wife said. So, Candace, you've been you've been married for five years. Uh, tell us how this affair with the bongo player Ben occurred. <laughs> well, you know, um, when I was a little girl, I came over to my grandparents' house, and that's how I met him. So, ever since then, I just knew. Yeah. Do you like the way he beats on the bongo? Do you like the way he beats on the bongo? That turns you on? Oh yeah, he's a little freaky. We're here at Bob's Tavern with Leslie. Leslie, you know Teddy for quite some time. Did you ever think that this great bartender would turn into such a rock star? <laughs> oh yeah, well, I knew he was a star the minute I seen him. <laughs> what, what was it about Teddy that you knew he would be a rock star? Oh, I think it's a sexy walk he has. What's your favorite thing about Blindside, the band that's playing tonight? Uh, they're chop drawing. They're really good drawers. 